Before installing the HyperTech interceptor, make sure the vehicle engine and ignition is turned off. Tools needed for installation are a flashlight and the provided Velcro strips. HyperTech has developed custom engine tuning for some of the popular aftermarket air intakes for the Toyota Tundra 5.7 liter trucks. If you have one of the aftermarket air intakes listed here on your vehicle, you will first need to update your interceptor controller by using the update software that is included on the provided CD and then selecting which intake you are using. You must update the controller only and not the accelerator controller. The interceptor has two pairs of connectors. One pair of five pin connectors for the MAF sensor and one pair of three pin connectors for the CAM sensor. It's a good idea to lay the interceptor out in the general area of each connector before installing. Step 1. Install the interceptor controller box by using the supplied Velcro strips and then attaching the controller box on the passenger side of the engine compartment. Step 2. Disconnect the factory connector from the MAF sensor by squeezing the connector to unlock and then pull up to disconnect. Then plug the interceptor's 5-pin MAF sensor connector into the factory MAF sensor wiring harness connector. Now plug the other interceptor 5-pin MAF connector into the vehicle's MAF sensor. Sometimes these connectors can be difficult to remove because they are a tight fit. Step 3. Route the interceptor cable to the cam sensor. Because this is a dual overhead cam engine, there are two cam sensors you can access for the installation. Either will work. If you are using the stock air intake, then we recommend using the exhaust cam sensor, which is the lower one. If you have an aftermarket air intake, then we recommend using the intake cam sensor, which is the upper one. Disconnect the factory cam sensor connector. Then plug the other interceptor 3-pin cam sensor connector into the factory wiring harness. Now plug the interceptor's 3-pin cam sensor connector into the vehicle's cam sensor. As you go, make sure that all connections are secure by slightly pulling on them. Make sure that the interceptor harness and all connectors are clear from moving or rotating parts and from all extreme heat sources. Use zip ties if needed. Step 4. Installing the interceptor accelerator controller. Using a flashlight, locate the factory accelerator harness connector which is located on the driver's side dashboard and on top of the accelerator pedal. Disconnect the factory harness connector from the accelerator pedal sensor. Then plug the interceptor's accelerator pedal sensor connector into the factory accelerator pedal sensor. Then plug the other interceptor accelerator pedal harness connector into the vehicle's factory accelerator pedal sensor connector. Then position the interceptor accelerator controller box out of the way of the accelerator. Installation is now complete.